story of how Mark Zuckerberg is spending billions, yes, billions of dollars to buy the future of AI. He's making offers to AI researchers that are so massive, they make NFL contracts look like summer jobs. Some said yes, others walked away from the deal of a lifetime, but why? What does this mean for the future of AI? You're about to find out who took the bag, who turned it down, and how Zuck's $250 million deals are completely rewriting the rules of Silicon Valley. So stick around because what I'm about to tell you at the end could change the way you see the AI race forever. Let's start with one of the craziest offers ever made. $1.5 billion. Yes, that's right, with a B. And no, this was not a company acquisition. It was a personal job offer. And Zuck made it to one single person. His name is Andrew Tullock. He's the co-founder of Thinking Machine Labs and former OpenAI researcher. And guess what? He said no. This man simply walked away from what could have been the biggest paycheck in tech history. You'll see why in a minute. Let's go back and see where it all started. So in 2025, Meta launched a new elite AI division. It's called Meta Super Intelligence Labs. It's only mission to build AI that's smarter than humans. Zuck was done playing catch up with OpenAI and DeepMind. He wanted to leapfrog them and he knew that it would take an extreme amount of money to do it. So naturally he went on a hiring spree and not any hiring spree, the craziest one that history has ever seen. And here's what makes this so wild. These were not normal salary offers. They were massive stock loaded packages that were designed to lock in people for four to six years. And Zuckerberg personally reached out to candidates. He personally met them, dined with them, promised them the moon from the sky, and for some of them it actually worked. For others though, not even billion dollar offers could save them. Let's talk about one of the biggest wins out there. Alexander Wang, the founder of Scale AI. Zuck didn't just offer him a job, he invested $14.3 billion to acquire 49% of Scale AI. He did that in order to bring Wang as the co-leader of his super intelligence labs. This deal didn't just make Wang one of the most powerful people in the AI industry, it made him a billionaire overnight. Just let that sink in. Zuckerberg bought half of a company for more than $14 billion just to get one single person to work with him. And it worked. Wang is now leading Meta's charge towards artificial intelligence. And trust me, this is nothing. The spending didn't stop here. Meet Matt Datke, an AI researcher who created an advanced AI framework that's called Malmo. Initially, he turned Meta down. So what did Zuckerberg do? Of course, he personally met with him and he doubled the offer. And by double, I mean from $125 million to $250 million. So Matt is getting $250 million over the course of four years with $100 million in the first year alone. And that's when Daitke said yes, so would anyone. And now he's helping Meta build AI agents that are reasoning like humans. $250 million for a 24-year-old researcher. That's quarterback money. And this is where the floodgates opened. Because once Matt joined Zuck's team, other top AI researchers started paying attention. And that's where Meta began scooping up talent from all over the world. OpenAI, Google, DeepMind, Apple, Anthropic. Another big win is Roaming Pang. This is the guy who led Apple's foundational model team. Meta offered him a package worth $200 million. He joined, and now he's helping Meta build the backbone of its AI systems. And then there's the Zurich Raid. Meta went after OpenAI's European team that's located in Switzerland. And he convinced Lucas Bayer, Alexander Kolesnikov, Xiaohua Zhai, all of them are former DeepMind researchers, and he convinced them to jump ship. Rumors said they got a $100 million sign-in bonus. That part was pretty much denied, but the hires are still real. And it did not stop there. Meta also poached multiple researchers from OpenAI, including Shengjia Zhao, Hongyu Ren, Jiawei Yu, Zhu Hao Bi, and also Hui Wen Shang. They were core contributors to OpenAI GPT-4 model and also their new wave of multimodal models. Each of them was reportedly offered millions of dollars. Some of them accepted, some did not accept, and the ones who did got assigned to Meta's ambitious AI teams. But one of the biggest rejections, one that Mark Zuckerberg did not expect, is coming from Mira Murati, the former CTO of OpenAI and founder of Thinking Machine Labs. Zuck offered to acquire her company for more than $1 billion, and guess what? She said no, and so did everyone on her team. Meta tried to individually poach her engineers with offers that are ranging anywhere between $200 million and $1 billion over six years of work. Not a single person said yes. You heard that right. 
Her whole team walked away from generational wealth. And that brings us back to Andrew Tullock, Meta's top target. Zuck wanted him so badly, he personally offered a package worth more than $1.5 billion over the course of six years. All stock, all performance based, all designed to make him the face of Meta's reasoning engine. And guess what? Tullock said no. He chose to keep building with Mira Murati instead. So let's take a moment here. Why would anyone on their right mind would refuse $1.5 billion? Because Andrew believed in his mission more than money. And apparently, so did the entire team. So Zuck had the check, but they had the conviction. And he cannot buy that. Meanwhile, over at Anthropic, Meta tried to poach the founding team. All seven team members, including their CEO, Dario Amodei, turned them down. Dario said that he would not even counter offer. And he said that if one engineer gets $300 million and somebody from their team will get $300,000 a year, then the whole mission just falls apart. They just couldn't be bought. But others, let's just say they definitely could. Meta also reeled in Joel Tober and Anton Bakhtin, both of whom left Anthropic to join Meta. So how about Apple? Meta simply raided their AI division and hired Bo Wen Zhang, Tom Gunter, Mark Lee, and several others. And from DeepMind, Meta pulled in Jack Ray, Hei Sun, Kanye Yu, Cosmo Du, and much more. In total, over 50 elites in the AI world have joined Meta in just a few months worth of time. And behind almost all of these deals was Zuckerberg himself, personally. He personally met with the candidates, hosted them at his homes, and pitched them about Meta becoming the platform for super intelligence. Zuck even went that far and changed Meta's HQ so that everybody would be in walking distance from his office. So he's basically reshaping the entire battlefield. And the final wave might just be the biggest yet. According to reports, Meta is now targeting AI reasoning experts. People like Jason Wei, and Hyun Won Chung, these are people who have pioneered OpenAI's agents. Sources say they have been offered anywhere between 300 and 400 million dollars in stock. If they say yes, Meta could dominate the frontier of artificial intelligence in the next coming years. So what if they say no? It would be just another signal that mission beats money, at least for some of them. But don't get it twisted. Meta already has many of the brightest minds in the world to cover their mission. So now let's check the scoreboard again. Alexander Wang, $14.3 billion. Matt Datekey, $250 million. Roaming Pang, $200 million. A lot of other OpenAI and DeepMind researchers, hundreds of millions each. And for the ones that declined the bag, Andrew Tolok declined $1.5 billion. Mira Murati and their entire TML team, they declined more than $1 billion. And all of Anthropic's leadership declined offers that are probably more than $1 billion. We don't have official numbers here. So here's the big question. Can Meta buy the future of AI? Or is there like a ceiling where culture, trust, and mission matter way more than money? Some of the smartest people in the world now have planted their flags on both sides. And the race to super intelligence has never been more real than it is right now. And that brings us to you. Because if this is the type of money that's been offered to 24 year olds to build stuff with AI, what happens when you start building? This is not some elite club, it's open season for talent and right now is the perfect window to make your mark but this will not last forever if you're serious about playing in the AI space whether you're an engineer a founder a creator or a builder you are not late you are early but if you wait more than six months you're just gonna be another spectator. Now, if you want a full breakdown on what this super intelligence lab is actually building and how to compare it to OpenAI, XAI, and Anthropic, just watch the next video because that's where the real AI wars are being played out. And if you've made it this far, you already know what to do. Subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, and like this video. It would greatly help us with the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and visit There's an AI for That, the biggest AI directory in the world with close to 40,000 AI tools and subscribe to our newsletter, the biggest AI-related newsletter in the world with close to 2 million like-minded people that want to hear more stuff about AI. And don't forget to drop a comment below telling me, would you turn down $1.5 billion in order to build your very own AI company? I read every single comment and I'll see you in the next one. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.